Every year, about 15,000 children and 15,000 adults in the U.S. are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that occurs when the body's disease-fighting cells mistakenly attack insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. As they kill them off, blood sugar levels spike. That's because there's no insulin to move glucose out of the bloodstream and into the cells, where it's used for fuel. This can trigger intense thirst, frequent urination, extreme hunger, weight loss, flushed skin, and fatigue. But in children, the first noticeable symptom is often a coma. The rapid onset of type 1 can land a person in the hospital where healthcare providers may use an A1C blood test to confirm a diagnosis of diabetes and then administer insulin to get extremely high glucose levels back under control. The A1C test shows a person's average blood sugar level over the previous two to three months. A result of 6.5% or higher indicates diabetes. Some doctors may use one of the following blood glucose tests in addition to or instead of the A1C test. An oral glucose tolerance test requires that a person drink a glucose solution after fasting for eight hours. Blood sugar levels are tested two hours later, and 200 milligrams a deciliter or higher signals diabetes. A fasting blood sugar test also looks at the level of glucose in the blood, but a person has to fast for eight hours beforehand. A level of 126 milligrams per deciliter or higher indicates diabetes. If all tests indicate diabetes, then you may need a blood test to check for autoantibodies. Only type 1 diabetes produces these immune system markers. To learn how to live a long and healthy life with type 1 diabetes, check out other videos in this series.